<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you all how you can import and export original PlayStation saves for use with a virtual memory card or setting up a virtual memory card. We're going to be covering all of that, and even though I'm using an original PlayStation here, this is not just limited to the original PlayStation hardware. This is also intended if you have anything else that uses a virtual memory card, such as any type of emulator like Duck Station or EPSXE, or even something like, let's say, a PlayStation 3. I'm going to be showing you all again how you can export saves, how you can import them, and really just setting up a virtual memory card for your own usage. So for that, we're going to need a few things in mind. We're of course going to need our saves, whether they're ones you've downloaded or ones that you want to export out, and we're also going to need our destination in mind. Now for my own usage here, I have an original PlayStation as you can see, and I'm actually going to be using the Pico Mem Card, which I covered here recently, or really specifically the Pico Mem Card Plus, which allows me to make virtual memory cards on a micro SD card and use it on original PS1 or PS2 hardware. However, if you want to use something equivalent like the MemCard Pro or any other solutions out there, or again, even if you want to use an emulator, it's up to you since we're going to be working with virtual memory cards. So for this here, what we'll need to do is navigate over to our computer and we're going to need to download a piece of software to really get started. For this, for the most part, we really just need this piece of software, which is going to be called MemCard Rex. Now, this is fantastic. And as you can see, it is called a advanced PlayStation 1 memory card editor. Now, just as a heads up, it is going to require, in our case, Windows, and you will need the .NET Framework 4.8 already installed. However, you can check it out here. It has a ton of supported virtual memory card formats, as well as plenty of single save formats, which is going to get us exactly where we need to go. They do also cover some hardware interfaces, such as using a DEX drive, a memory card Duino, a PS1 card link, or a PS3 memory card adapter. However, we're just really going to be working with the virtual memory cards in this case here. In order to download this, the link will be down below in the description of this video. You can click on releases. And when you come over here to the releases, just find the latest release and open up the assets tag right here and download the latest zip file. Once you have the zip file downloaded, you can use whatever extraction software you need to right click and extract this out. And you should get a MemCard Rex folder, which you can open up. Inside of the MemCard Rex folder, just open up the executable. And it looks a little something like this. It is pretty simple to use here, so we can go ahead and start messing with this. Now, in my case, as I said, I'm using the Pico MemCard, which means I do have MCR files or virtual memory cards here, which I can use on original PlayStation and PlayStation 2 hardware. So these are a couple memory cards that I backed up, and I'm just going to copy the both of these out here so we can work with them. Again, this is my own example here. However, this is going to work the same if you're using an emulator such as EPSXE or DuckStation, as long as you're able to get the virtual memory card files. One thing to keep in mind is this is not an individual save. This is a whole memory card image right here. So first, let's work on extracting out our saves. If you're trying to do something like this, you'll just need to come over to file and open up that memory card image. As you can see here, once you open it up, it should look a little something like this. So I have several different saves here, such as a Tony Hacks save for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, Final Fantasy 7, my loaded save. I think this is my completed Silent Hill save. And you can check out a few things, like if you want to check out the save header information. I wouldn't necessarily recommend editing anything here unless you know what you're doing. But you can check that out. You can edit the icon if you want to. You can also delete, remove saves, whatever you want to do here in this regard. But for this, we're just going to be exporting. So whenever you find the save or saves that you want, you just need to right click that save file click on export save or export raw save. I can show you the difference here real quick. If you click on export save, it's going to look a little something like this and you have several different save types they are able to export out to. You can export over to a PSX game edit or memory juggler save, a PS3 single save, or one of these smart link saves. Depending on what you're wanting, this doesn't really matter here because this can also handle, you know, working with different saves and converting them over. So if you're just wanting to export with one of these formats here, for example, if you want to export to a PS3 single save, you can select that and save it out. Otherwise, if you just want to export the raw save itself, which there's no issue there either, you can right click this, export raw save, 
and save it just like this. It's going to look a little something like this. It might look a little odd, and because it's a raw file, it's not going to have any file name extension, but we can save this out. And wherever you save these out to, it will look a little something like this. As you can see, this is the one that is a single save set up for the PlayStation 3, and this is one that is a raw save. In my opinion here, if you're just trying to export out saves to have less fuss, it'll probably just be better to export them as a raw save just like this. So you can do that easy enough, and you know what, I'll go ahead and export out another one just as an example. So there is my own Final Fantasy VII save that I've extracted. So there we go, that's how you can export out a save. Once you're done messing with your virtual memory card, you can click on file and close out of here so we don't have to touch it anymore. Now let's go ahead and try importing a save, and this would be an example of let's say you want to download a completed save online somewhere, which one of the best places you can do this for, in my opinion here, is GameFAQs, just because it's been around for so long and I remember when I was younger, this is where I got my game saves for, you know, PS1 and other systems here. So you can simply look up whatever game you're looking for here. As you can see, there's several different variations of this, so you might want to select PlayStation. But for this example, I'm going to be using Grand Theft Auto 2. If you're using GameFAQs, you can come over to the saves section. And right here, for example, this is going to be a good example. We have a PlayStation 3 virtual memory card save from North America. So for this, I'm going to just download this file from Lord Abrino 55 Thank you very much for that. Now, however your save is formatted, it doesn't really matter as long as we can access it. So for this, we're just going to right-click and extract this here into a directory, which it has its own GTA 2 directory. And inside of here, we have a couple of MCR files, which we're pretty familiar with at this point. So even though it's not a PS3 memory card in this example, it's still something we need to extract the file from. So for this, we're going to have to both export and import here because I want to put it on my own virtual memory card. So for example, let's go ahead and go to file and open. We can check out these memory cards. So I'm going to check out the zero one, which it looks like I have the Let's see here. Yeah, that is GTA 2. So it looks like the GTA 2 saves are the top three. And then this person has played a lot of Wild Arms 2 and Grandia 1, which I don't care about these other saves respectfully. I just want the Grand Theft Auto 2 saves. So for these here, what I'm going to do is right click, export these as raw save files. I'll go ahead and save these all to the GTA 2 directory. So there's the first one. Here is the second one. And here's the third one. So we have all those exported. At this point, we can now go to File, Close, and I'm going to open up another memory card. For importing, go ahead and grab your own virtual memory card. In this case, this is one of my own personal cards. I'm going to use 1.mcr. As you can see, I have some other saves here. Now to import our saves onto our own virtual memory card, you do need a free slot. Keep in mind that each memory card on the original PlayStation is only set to 15 blocks. That is a hard limitation. You can only have 15 blocks per card at a time. So you will need some free slots there. But for this, you can just right click one of these free slots and hit import save. And the nice thing is when you find your saves that you've exported out, it doesn't matter what the file format is because this is able to handle everything beautifully. So for example, I can grab one of the PSV saves, for example. And if I double click that, even though that is a save intended for the PS3, it imports it in here with no issue. However, I don't want this Silent Hill save here, so I'm going to right click this and I'm going to just remove the save completely. So I'm going to say yes, and there we go. But for importing in our Grand Theft Auto 2 saves, you can right click, click on import, find wherever your saves are saved at. So as you can see, we had exported these as raw saves and you can bring them in. We have Fred zero, I'm going to do the same thing with Fred 1, and I'm going to do the same thing with Fred 2. So you can now see these four are my own personal saves that I had. However, I now have these downloaded saves on here. In order to make sure this sticks though, you will have to save your saves. So click on File and Save. Then you can close out of this memory card. With that all sorted, in order to run our saves, we now need to access this memory card. So make sure you take your memory card image and load it up however you're going to be using it, whether it's going to be on original hardware or an emulator. In my case, I'm going to be using original hardware, so I'm going to copy out this 1.mcr that I modified, go back to my USB drive, and I'm going to overwrite the one I have here. Don't worry, I've already backed it up, so I'm not too worried about it. Now that that's all saved over, I'm going to come back here, right click, eject, 
and go back over to the PlayStation. All right, so to test this actually works, I'm over at the original PlayStation. I have my memory card with the image loaded up. And as you can see here, the four saves I originally had are there. And we now have the Grand Theft Auto 2 saves. Remember, these are saves that I just downloaded online. I was able to extract, import, and load them up here just fine. So we now have everything working beautifully. Now, we can test this further by booting up the game itself. So for that, I'm going to exit out. I have Grand Theft Auto 2 loaded up on the PlayStation, and let's go ahead and boot it up and make sure our saves work. So we have Grand Theft Auto 2 loaded up. I'm going to hit start, go down to load game, and after a few moments, it should be able to load in our saves here. And it takes a bit, but as you can see, no name 0, 1, and 2. I'm going to go ahead and load up No Name 2 and make sure this works. And as you can see, yep, our status is saved. So we got all this here and it looks like we are pretty much at the end of the game. So we are very well maxed out. We seem to be doing pretty well for ourselves. And I would say this is absolutely not a, uh, not a save from the very beginning of the game. So awesome to see. Uh, to verify this, we can also check and see what has been unlocked. So for that, I'm going to press start and actually go to quit play and confirm. Now, remember the original save we downloaded stated all stage open, all missions have been completed, and stage the bonus has been unlocked. So if we go to play, check this out, we have all three areas unlocked and we have A, B, C, and D bonus levels accessible. And we can check our high scores and yep, there's no name on this, so... It looks like we're all good to go at this point. Again, we were able to download these saves online. We were able to extract our own saves. We were able to extract from online virtual memory cards and import them onto our own virtual memory card. So that is about it. That is how to manage, import, export your saves using mem card recs and virtual memory cards for the original PlayStation. Hopefully this helps out and hopefully you can now get started having some fun with saves all around the world. Anyways, that is about it for this video here. This is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too.